Welcome to 501 Motley, where we work smart, not hard. In today's video, we're given this diagram of three squares side by side of side length 4 cm, 6 cm, and 10 cm. Just with that information, we're to determine the area of the shaded region. Pause the video here, see what you can come up with. I'm gonna solve it this way. So, since that is a trapezium, we want to find the sides of the trapezium so we can use the formula for the area of a trapezium. First thing we'll do is we'll label some points on this diagram, namely A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Next, since we know that the biggest square has a side of 10 centimeters, then that means the side ED will also be 10 centimeters. Then, AB will be 4, BC is 6, and CD is 10. Or in other words, the whole length AD will be 4 plus 6 plus 10, which is 20. Now, when we look at these triangles, we can see that there are some right angles right there at D, at C, and at B. And also because the lines BG, CF, and DE are parallel, then the angles there at G, at F, and E are also congruent. And in particular, all three size triangles also happen to share the same angle A. But just showing that two angles are the same in all three triangles is enough to show that these are similar triangles. So that means that the triangle ABG is the same as the triangle ACF, which is basically similar, not the same, but similar to triangle ADE. Alright, so since they are similar triangles, then we can use the ratios of their corresponding sides. Or in particular, the side ED compared to AD will be equal to FC compared to AC. So we know ED is 10 and we know AD is 20. We also know that AC is 4 plus 6, which is 10. So FC will be 10 times 10 divided by 20, which gives us 5 centimeters. Next, we can find the side BG. Again, we use the ratio of ED to AB equals GB to AB, where in this case, AB is simply 4. So GB will be 10 times 4 divided by 20, which gives us 2 centimeters. So, we now know the length of the two parallel sides and the perpendicular distance between them is 6. So we can use the formula half times the quantity A plus B times H. Substituting our values, we'll find half of 6 which is 3 and 2 plus 5 is 7. So the area is 3 times 7 which gives us 21 square centimeters. Did you get it right? If so, comment below. And as always, please hit that like button share with others and subscribe if you're new here.